Okay, folks, let's look at our second month's fitness curriculum where we're going to be looking at the exercises that are going to focus on our core and our back. So what we'll start off with this month are side plank pushes. What I want to see you folks do is from an elbow position like this, I'm going to get into a side plank like so. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to drop my hips to the ground and then push them up to the sky. Drop them down and push them up. We'll do that 10 times on each side. After that, we're gonna do what's called the frog press. I'm gonna lie down on my back, planting my feet on the ground like so, raising up my shoulders and my neck off the ground. I'm gonna press my arms down like this into the ground for a count of 20, just like so. Then what I'm going to do after that, I'm gonna take my hands, place them underneath my body so that they're underneath the top of my glutes and my lower back. I'm going to extend my legs out to the side like so. In fact, I'm gonna turn around like this so it's a little bit easier to see. And I'm gonna draw some sideways figure eights with my legs. I'll do that five times in one direction and then five times going in the other direction, the opposite way. After that, we're going to do what's called bird dogs. <laughs> we're going to get onto our hands and knees like so. Then what I want to do is I want to take my opposite arm and my opposite leg. I'm going to bring the elbow and the knee together like so. Then I'm gonna bring them back and hold, trying to get my back as straight as possible while doing this. And then I'll bring them back in and out. In and out. Then I will switch sides. After that, I'm gonna kind of stay in this position, only I'm now gonna go into a plank and I'm gonna do some plank up downs, which means I start on my hands like this, and then I'm gonna bring my body down to the ground on my elbows, and then back up to my hands, down to my elbows, back up to my hands. Then what I'm gonna do after those, back down onto the ground like so, hands underneath the butt, and I'm gonna do a bunch of scissor kicks. Four counts up and four counts down, just like so. Then we're gonna do what I like to call the V-Sit Hug Stars. How these are gonna look is I'm gonna start hugging my knees to my chest. I'm gonna to try to have my feet up off the ground if possible, but if I need to put my toes or even my full feet down to start, that's just fine. I'm gonna hold this for a count of four. Then I'm gonna raise my feet up in the air as high as I can and hold a V-sit for a count of four. Then I'm gonna bring my legs back down to that hugging position. Hold that for a count of four. Then I'm gonna make a starfish position. Notice that I'm keeping my shoulders and my neck up off the ground like so. Hold this for four and then come back up to that hug position. We'll increase the difficulty by starting holding each position for a count of four. Then we're going to double it, only holding each position for a count of two. Then single time. So it'll look like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, double, two, visit, two, hug, two, star, single time. One, two, three, four, one, two, ah! <laughs> That's the whole point. It's supposed to be a little bit tricky. Then to end it all off, we're gonna go and do a plank from our hands like so, 
for a nice 30 second count. And then we'll get to stretch it all out, friends.